Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad that you guys chose to tune in. Um, first of all, if you are new to this channel, go ahead and do me a favor. Slide down there, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified anytime I put out a video. At the end of the video, if you like it, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Leave comments down below and please share these videos with your friends. Uh, it's going to help my channel grow and it will help me grow to become a better um, content maker. So if you could, please do those things for me. That way I can try to put out some uh, good content for you guys. Um, as you can tell, I got on a hoodie. I'm out here in my shop. I got on a hoodie, which means it's, it's getting cold. Uh, our fall season is starting to really kick in. Uh, the weather for us this week is it's cold, uh, apparent, but... Uh, so next week, it's supposed to warm back up. So our water is probably gonna be in like a really, really funky transition stage. Water temperature is gonna be cooled off probably over the weekend, but then next week it's supposed to warm back up. So then the water temp is probably gonna be back up. So the fish, you know, they're probably gonna be just as confused as we are as far as the weather go. But hopefully we still have some good fishing coming up ahead with this fall transition. So, uh, Monster Bass has put together, I would have to say, probably one of the best looking uh, fall transition boxes so far. Uh, I took a peek in this box a few days ago, and a lot of the baits in there just look really, really cool. I wish I had the time. I'm probably going to have to try to make the time to get out there because I really, really want to try to use some of these baits in here because they look really awesome. Uh, Monster Bass, if you don't know, Monster Bass is a monthly subscription company, but they're, they're just not your typical subscription company where they just ship you a box of baits and just say, here you go. Their baits have been selected for specific times. What I mean by that, if you sign up and get their regional box, you pick the region that you fish in. And the baits that you will get is handpicked for that region. If you're on the west coast or the east coast, if you're fishing up north or down south, the baits have been selected by other professionals that would be optimal baits for your water condition, uh, your weather conditions, and the season that you're fishing in. So, like I said, here in the south, we're transitioning to uh, that fall pattern. So the fish should be feeding a little bit more before they go into their uh, winter hibernation time, if you can you know, think of it that way. But the fish will start to get uh, less active. So right now they're in that phase where they're feeding up heavy before they get ready for that uh, winter time. So right now I'm pretty sure it's about reaction baits, spinner baits, crank baits, uh, swim baits, chatter baits, swim jigs, Anything that you can throw that will get that reaction bite is probably what you want to throw. Make sure you're targeting cover and uh, any kind of underwater structures that uh, would hold those bass as a good ambush spot for uh, ambushing those bait fish. Uh, drop down below, click that link to get you a subscription of Monster Bass. Uh, you will not be disappointed. I haven't been disappointed in the last year and a half to two years I have not been disappointed with monster bass at all so click that link down below and get signed up to get you a monster bass uh, subscription let's jump into it so as always you get a nice little guide this thing is packed with lots of information from uh, the monster bass pro staff as well as the professionals who fish professional uh, bass as well as those who might have pioneered some of these techniques that we use today uh, one of the boxes was featuring the Ned rig and it had everything from the guy Ned Keed I believe was his name on how he came out with the Ned rig so lots and lots of good useful information in these little booklets I'll actually be reading some of this stuff off as we talk about these things uh, some of this stuff out now to get to some of the other stuff 
as always, you get a golden ticket. And if you tune in to the Monster Bash YouTube channel on Thursdays when they go live, be looking for that number there uh, for your number to be called, and you'll win all kind of prizes from Monster Bass. Uh, as always, also, you get some kind of a cool sticker from Monster Bass. Uh, Monster Bass is also doing something else where they now have their own fishing rods. They have both the uh, baitcasters and spinning. Uh, trying to see if it shows what company. Well, it's not a, a company. Monster, but these are Monster Bass's very own uh, fishing rods. So, real quick, uh, they're called the Lunker Stick. Newest line of fishing rods from Monster Bass. It will begin shipping November of 2022. So, November of this year, these things start shipping out. Features Premium Monster Modulus 30 Tori Carbon Fiber Blank, Fuji Titanium Tangle Free K Guides with SIC inserts, a Fuji ECS Graphite Reel Seat, Premium Cork Split Grip Handles, Stainless Steel Hook Keeper, Quick ID Rod System. So right down here, I don't know if you guys can see there, but right there where my finger is, it has like a little ID system there so you can, you know what rod you're picking up so you're not trying to reach down and grab your swim bait rod and you didn't grab your spinner bait and now you're having to dig through there. You can look at that spot right there, ID those rods and grab the one that you mean to get. Uh, the ID system M1 is for medium light. M2, medium, M3, medium. I'm gonna start that over real quick. So M1, medium light, fast action. Uh, M2, medium, moderate, fast. M3, medium, fast. M4, medium, heavy, moderate, fast. M5, medium, heavy, fast tip. Uh, M6, medium, heavy, extra fast tip. Uh, M7, heavy, fast tip. M8, heavy, extra fast. M9, extra heavy, fast. That fast just means when your rod starts to bend, how fast does it bend? So for the, uh, the medium fast, I would probably, probably you probably could throw crankbaits on that. It has a nice bend to it. So when those fish bite, because crankbaits is a moving bait, you're going to be moving it fairly fast. So it's going to have a slight bend already. So when those fish bite, it loads up really quick. So that way you have time to actually lean back into that hook set and you're not pulling that hook, pulling that bait away from the fish before they actually have time to actually get it in. So that's what that means. But uh, nice looking rods, the design of them look pretty cool. So. Be looking out for that whenever you go to Monster Pass. And now we're gonna get into this stuff. First thing I'm gonna talk about is Monster Bass's new design of their rod sleeves. And a rod sleeve is basically what it is. It's a rod sleeve. Slide these onto your rods and then you can store these in your boat lockers or wherever and it helps keep your line from getting tangled. So that way you don't have to deal with uh, your guides getting broke or your your rods, the line getting tangled and now you're spending uh, precious fishing time trying to untangle all of your rods instead of actually out there fishing. So Monster Bass decided to send these and my favorite color, black and blue. Like It looks pretty cool when you start digging into your rod locker and you see all these rod sleeves and they're color coordinated. Or what you could do is, you know, the different colors, then you could color cord them for such as your Texas rig, Carolina rigs, have those rod sleeves be one color, and then uh, all your moving baits or baits that have treble hooks, have those be one color. That way you know what you're grabbing whenever you reach in there. But that's one thing that you get in the October box. I had to think about that. We are in the month of October. Okay, real quick, be back in just a second. Okay, now we're back. So let's jump into this real quick and let's take a look at these baits. So one of the big things in there is a chatterbait 
And so there's a quick little story here on Chatterbait. And it looks like they decided to talk to probably one of the best Chatterbait fishermen out there, uh, Mr. Brian Thrift. I think he was either 2019 or 2020 uh, Forest Wood Cup champion. And it was actually the last Forest Wood Cup they would have before FLW was bought out by uh, Major League Fishing. So uh, Brian Thrift, very seasoned angler lots and lots of knowledge so somebody that you can really learn a lot from 2019 I'm reading it right here he was a 2019 FLW Cup winner and uh, yeah, they, they call it Major League Fishing Pro Brian Thrift the 2019 FLW Cup so 2019, he won the last Forest Wood Cup that they would have because uh, FLW was bought out by Major League Fishing. He now fishes in the Major League Fishing on the uh, Bass Pro Tour. So, all right, and the first one coming up. Here's another good thing that Monster Bass does. They do a phenomenal job of pairing up baits. So, just as we were talking about it, you have the Z-Man, the original chatterbait that comes in a black and blue color and then you get a pack of z-man uh diesel minnows also in black and blue and this will pair up very nice uh this is a 3 8 ounce chatterbait and then these are well the small little minnow these will pair up really nice with this chatterbait and again, you know, dark stained water is probably where I would throw that. Let's see what it says in here. Uh, we have water depth, shallow to deep water, structure and cover. Uh, you'd want to throw it over humps, ledges. You can throw it in open water, uh, riprap, points, docks, rocks, and trees. So those are all good spots that you want to target when you're throwing this chatterbait. Uh, gear suggested for this particular setup, a medium to medium heavy bait casting rod, 14 to 20 pound fluorocarbon, 6.31 gear ratio bait caster reel. That three to one, I call that the low uh, medium because it's fast enough to get it moving, but it's slow enough to where you don't fish it too fast because a lot of times when you get out there and you're just going through the motions throwing it out reeling it in throwing it out reeling it in well if you got a really high speed reel you're just going to be thinking throw it out bear it in and you're not going to realize how fast you're doing that so that 6.3 to 1 gear ratio will help you slow down but it will still keep that bait moving at a good pace uh, that's all they've got on that one um, also, if you want to know how much you're saving by getting a monster bass compared to just going out and buying this stuff, a lot of these lures have been compared to the prices off of a tackle warehouse. So for the regional box, you're paying $35 a month. Most of these boxes, you're getting anywhere from $50 to $55 worth of baits. So just think about that. If you're going on tackle warehouse ordering these exact lures, you're gonna be spending anywhere from $50 to $55 versus you paying $35 a month and you get all of this stuff, plus you get this booklet with tons of information in it. Okay, moving on, the next lure that we have is this Mustad Underpin Shad. Underspin, I said underpin, underspin. Uh, the head is of a, a swim jig style head and then you have this small little blade here, a uh, small little willow leaf. This is a 3 8 ounce. Uh, it's got a, the color on the back says underspin bass. So you, you're, you're mimicking a, a baby bass. Uh, but then this will be paired up with this Big Bite Baits uh, Cane Thumper is what these are called, five inch. 
the color of this is at owl owl wife uh, it's kind of like a pearl blue color and it looks like it has tons of salt in it but again this would pair up nice you have that blade to add a little bit of flash and again a moving bait so something imitating some kind of a bait fish uh, let's see here features 3 8 ounce willow blade darter head mustache opti angle hook double barb keeper to make sure you keep those plastics on there uh, the big bites big bite baits cane thumper 4.25 inch or 5 inch uh, large ribs on bottom hook pockets designed by pro dean rojas there are pockets on there so that way you make sure you get a perfect uh, alignment with that bait onto your hook so that way your bait is nice and straight it's not crooked uh, the depth and location that you'd want to fish this mid depth so anywhere from that uh, below the surface down to the middle depending on where you're fishing at the mid depth great spots to throw this to structure and cover humps ledges out in open water riprap points docks rocks and trees those are your key spots where you want to throw this bait right here uh, your gear suggested for this setup seven foot medium heavy casting rod uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon line 7.2 to 1 gear ratio bait caster now we've bumped up the speed a little bit you want that thing to move a little bit fast but on some of these baits don't just focus on throwing it out there and then reeling it in you can um, impart your own action on it and what I mean by that is as you're reeling kind of take the reel and give it a quick turn that's going to cause that bait as it's swimming it's going to cause it to make a quick darting action and then as your hand stops to kind of reset your uh, your real cadence it's going to give it just a split second of that thing just sitting there and possibly dying before it starts going so you're imitating some kind of a bait fish either trying to escape a predator fish or possibly injured and dying so it's mimicking a wounded bait fish so you can impart your own action to it you don't just have to throw it out there and burn it back in you can uh, reel it like I said add a little bit of speed slow it down maybe give it a couple pops but don't do too much but you know experiment with it and the fish will tell you if they like that or not and you'll know when they like it because when they smash it that's how you know that they like it so that there and of course these two baits you can fish these all on their own with either a Texas rig style, swim bait hooks, whatever. You don't have to necessarily use these as trailers. You can uh, fish these on their own, but they pair up great with these other two items. Then we're gonna move on to, now we're gonna get a little bit finessey on you, okay? We're moving on to what we got here. These are the X-Zone 3.25 Hot Shot Minnow. These are called Bass Candy. We've got a uh, old Brandon Polinick on there. Nice little finesse baits. And they paired these up with Monster Bass's own uh, shaky head uh, jig heads. Uh, these, excuse me. These come in 3 16th ounce and they're painted black. These are the ones that's got the screw keeper. I really like those screw keepers, they're easy. You just put the head of the bait on there and then you start to twist the bait or you twist the actual jig head and you don't have problems with the bait sliding off or anything like that. But pair those two up. And what we got here is a 3 16th to 3 8th ounce. Uh, must add hook, center pin, screw lock keeper, upright head design so it makes sure that it sits up uh, looking like a natural bait fish feeding on the bottom. Uh, again, the X-Zone Lures Hot Shot Minnow 3.25 inch features high buoyancy plastic, stands upright underwater, designed by pro Brandon Polinick himself. This lure here, you want to fish it on the bottom. This is a bottom fishing lure. Uh, the Structure that you're targeting, humps, ledges, points, docks, rocks, and trees. 
Now you have to be mindful that uh, these are exposed hooks. So be mindful about how you're throwing it in there so that way you don't get hung up on stuff. The suggested gear for this is a seven foot medium heavy spinning rod, 10 pound fluorocarbon leader to a 20 pound, 20 pound braid main line. What that means is the main line coming off of your reel is gonna be the 20 pound braid. And then you're gonna tie on a leader, which is gonna be of the fluorocarbon of uh, the 10 pounds. There are a ton of videos out there on YouTube. I'm pretty sure somebody on the Monster Bass channel has done one showing you what they like as far as their uh, connecting knots for connecting a leader to the braided line. So check out Monster Bass and see what they've got. Uh, there's, like I said, if you type in on YouTube, uh, tying fluorocarbon to braided line, you're probably gonna get a bunch of videos on that. So just check those out. And the reel, a 2500 series spinning reel. Uh, I would say on that one, go with what you're good, what you're comfortable with. So those are those two. Now the last one that we got on here is this jerk bait from Baker Lures. It's the JLD series jerk bait. Uh, this color is called Silverback because if you can see right there right on the head it has that little hint of silver and then the silver specks going down the back there this is a, a good shad imitator especially with that, that yellow line going down the side uh, the fall time good time for a jerk base uh, you probably want to slow your cadence down to maybe a one two one two three one two you could just stick with the one two but instead of like a five second pause, you maybe want 10 second pauses in between your snaps. So one, two, and then wait 10 seconds, then one, two, and carry on. Unless the fish are reacting different and they want a faster cadence, then go with the faster cadence. But typically when the weather is starting to cool off and the water temperatures are dropping, you probably want to go with a slower cadence. For this setup, uh, we will go with a 610 medium fast casting rod. 610 because, uh, again, to work this lure, you're working your rod in a downward motion. You're moving the bait with the rod. So you want downward snaps with the rod. So the shorter rod is to help you not slap the water or slap the side of your boat, which could mess up your cadence and working the bait. Uh, 14 pound fluorocarbon. 6.3 to 1 gear ratio bait caster ruyo. When you're taking up that slack, you don't want to take up too much because then you're going to start moving the bait with the reel instead of the rod. So that 6 to 1 gear ratio will help you take up the slack, but you're not taking up too much line to where you're moving the bait with the reel. And that is all we've got. Uh, in this little area here, they've got some stuff. Chatterbait hacks from epic eric's but he's got just a couple of little uh tips that you can do to your chatterbaits probably to help you with your hookup ratios or just be a better chatterbait fisherman overall uh don't forget on thursdays on their youtube channel uh monster bass goes live uh let's see here what is today's date today's date is the 18th so thursday be the 20th they have a guest and I think I saw earlier on when I was looking through YouTube that guest is gonna be none other than uh, Bassmaster Elite Pro Brandon Paulinick and he will be on there live with them so tune in for that and uh, get you some great information from a really good fisherman I enjoy watching uh, Brandon Paulinick's uh, channel as well as whenever the tournament season is going I'm always rooting for him. I'm picking him on my uh, fantasy fishing all the time. So tune in, get you some great information. Also, the moon phases here uh, to help you plan your fishing trips so that way you can get out there on the water and have the best time of your life. And hopefully smashing that PB. And that's what Monster Bass is here for, to help you do that. And then when you do smash that PB, Take a picture, send it in to Monster Bass, and hopefully your picture will end up in this book like all of these people. So, 
that is all for this month. I hope you guys have uh, learned something. I hope something I said or showed you has helped you make that decision on uh, pulling the trigger on signing up for that monthly bass subscription. Again, the link will be down below. Uh, I'm thinking they got some little uh, specials going on. Get so many dollars off on your first month subscription. I believe they still got one where if you sign up for the three month subscription, the fourth month is free. So jump over to Monster Bass, click the link down below and check that stuff out and then go ahead and make the decision and order you a Monster Bass. These things are awesome for you. They're awesome if you want to buy them for somebody as a gift. They also have a section where you can buy previous boxes so you'll get the same lures that came in a previous box if you want to get more of those and go back out there and try to you know repeat what happened the last time you were out so that's all i've got thank you guys for tuning in please don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications every time i make my videos i try to get out there and make videos on the water as well as my tactical shooting videos and make sure you Smash that thumbs up button if you like this video and please, please, please share and leave comments. And uh, that's all I got. So until the next time, I see you guys in the great outdoors.